Hello, guys. Would you like to listen to another story? Well, I've got one here ready for you. Little Miss Stubborn and the Seven Dwarfs It'll come to no surprise to say that Little Miss Stubborn had stubborn issues. It is not full advice. When she tries to go for an afternoon walk outside, and someone says it's going to rain soon, she'll ignore them by going outside until it rains. That's how stubborn Little Miss Stubborn is. Later that day, she found a house in the middle of the woods and decided that she would stay there to keep herself from the wet rain. She knocked on the door. Come in, said some little voices. As she arrived in the house, there were seven dwarfs. Sneezy, bashful, sleepy, doc, grumpy, happy, and dopey. Then there was another surprise. But it was an unusual surprise. It was the bad fairy godmother. She had a gift for Loomis Stubborn. However, the gift was a trick. Loomis Stubborn was excited to open the gift. Thanks! said Loomis Stubborn. As the fairy godmother left, Loomis Stubborn started to open the gift. No, don't open that, said Sneezy. But Loomis Stubborn did not listen and it was too late. Present was a spell that would stick her to the ceiling. Oh dear, said Doc. I think we need to get her down. And so all the dwarfs climbed a ladder to rescue Miss Stubborn for helping her off the ceiling. Just as the rain stopped falling from outside, the dwarfs were very bored, so they needed some exercise. Later that day, as they reached the mountain's garden, it was the return of the bad fairy godmother holding a watering can. Want to water my plants? asked the bad fairy godmother. You can't water the plants, said Bashful. Well, Miss Stubborn did not listen, and she watered the plants. Suddenly, a long stem wrapping around caused to trap Loomis Stubborn from coming down, and if that was not all, a giant stem grew and grew and grew. Help me get down from here, shouted Loomis Stubborn. I'm too high, I can't get down. And she was right. She could not also breathe, poor Loomis Stubborn. It wasn't long till Miss Helpful came around the corner. Hello, said Happy. Our friend just watered a bad fairy godmother's plants, and she got trapped in a weed. Can you help us get her down? Sure, said Lomas Helpful. Lomas Helpful ran to her house quickly to get some scissors, axes, and saws to cut down the weed. On the count of three, cut the tree down, said Sleepy. One, two, three, cut. Finally, they worked together, and Lomas Stubborn was saved. After staving Loomis Stubborn, the dwarfs were starving, so they decided to get a picnic. But then the fairy godmother came again and gave her an apple. You can't eat that apple, said Dopey. And for the third time that day, Loomis Stubborn did not listen and she ate the apple. And do you know what happened next? Of course, she turned into a toad. Well, that's odd said Bashful. Now what are we going to do? Just take her to the pond, said Happy. And they did. Now whenever someone comes around and talk to her, she would talk back. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed the story, and please check out my other stories in the channel. Please hit that like button, comment down in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe!